Since the Mueller report was released six weeks ago, everyone has shared their opinion on what they think it means. According to President Trump, it's total exoneration. According to the Democrats, it's the road to impeachment. And according to the fortune cookie I got last night, the lucky numbers are 614. <laughs> which I think means Trump is gonna get impeached mid-June, maybe? <laughs> Either way, everyone has weighed in on the Mueller reports. Everyone except Robert Mueller. Since the report came out, we haven't heard from him. In fact, you realize we haven't heard from him ever. <laughs> think about it. This guy was in the news for two years and never said a word. We don't even know what he sounds like. Yeah, <laughs> for all we know, Robert Mueller could talk like a minion. We don't know. <laughs> yeah, he could come out and just be like, Gubaduala, <laughs> Masika Dugabadaba. No, Russia, collusion. <laughs> we don't know. So that's why, that's why earlier today, it was such big news when out of nowhere, Robert Mueller announced that he would be making a statement on camera live at 11 a.m., which is a good time because the bachelorette isn't on. <laughs> and nobody knew what the statement would be about which meant that cable news had an hour to go into wild speculation mode. The big question is, what exactly will he address? Will he get into the substance of the report? Will he contradict the attorney general? Will he defend the investigators? Will he say anything about Congress? Will Robert Mueller only talk about part one of the Mueller report and not part two? Will he resign? Will he rebut depictions of his report? Will he address his public testimony? Or will he bring charges? Or will he bring sexy back? Or uh, <laughs> will he tell us he's replacing Adam Levine on The Voice? Uh, or will the news just wait for a goddamn hour to see what Robert Mueller actually says? <laughs> I don't understand. I'll never understand why cable news is so obsessed with predicting something that we're all gonna find out anyway. <laughs> like, all of these people on the news would make the worst Planet Earth narrators ever. <laughs> yeah. No, because David Attenborough, he doesn't predict. He just tells you what's going on. That's what makes it good. He's just like, the lion crouches in the tall glass. <laughs> her prey blissfully unaware of her presence. If cable news had that job, nature shows would suck. <laughs> be chaos. They'd be like, the lion is about to attack. Will it work? Will the gazelle get away? Will the buffalo stampede completely screw everything up? I think there's a chance that the gazelle might even eat the lion. We don't know what's gonna happen here. This is madness. We're trying to figure this out. So after an hour, an hour of cable news trying to magic eight ball Mueller's press conference. Finally, the man himself, the myth, the legend, stepped up to the podium and he said what he came to say. I'm speaking out today because our investigation is complete. I'll make a few remarks about the results of our work. Russian intelligence officers who were part of the Russian military launched a concerted attack on our political system. There were multiple, systematic, efforts to interfere in our election. And that allegation deserves the attention of every American. Okay. He says every American needs to pay attention to Russian meddling, but he's really talking to one particular American. <laughs> no, because let's face it, Trump is the only one that matters. I, I don't think Mueller is going on TV because he's worried that Phil from Quiznos isn't taking America's election <laughs> seriously enough. Yeah, Phil's got enough on his plate securing the Quiznos bathroom, okay? It's for customers only. It says right there on the door, people! <laughs> I told them, Phil, I told them. <laughs> but let's be honest, like, no one tuned in to hear Mueller talk about the Russians, right? People tuned in to hear if Robert Mueller thinks that the president obstructed justice or not. And the answer was a resounding... <laughs> Under long-standing department policy, a president, president cannot be charged with a federal crime while he is in office. That is unconstitutional. Charging the president with a crime was therefore not an option we could consider. If we had had co confidence that the president clearly did not commit a crime, we would have said so. Wait, what? <laughs> if Trump didn't commit a crime, we would have said so? So Trump did commit a crime? <laughs> Or did he just not not commit a crime? <laughs> like, Robert Mueller, why don't you just speak English, huh? <laughs> Even Yoda would be like, hmm, report confusing you make. <laughs> what is this? 
like the press conference was so confusing. My, like, Mala might as well just have come out and said, okay, you have a chicken and a fox and a boat, and on the other side is obstruction, okay? <laughs> and look, and look, the way Mala phrased this information was confusing. But most people agree that the underlying message was clear, right? He said what he said, it was just hidden. Like, imagine you're about to have sex with someone, and you ask them, hey, do you have herpes? And their response is, well, if I had confidence that I did not have herpes, <laughs> I would have said so. <laughs> You'd be like, okay, this motherfucker has herpes. <laughs> That's what happened here. <laughs> so for now, Robert Mueller refuses to just come out and say that the president has obstruction herpes. <laughs> And if you were hoping that Congress could force him to say it out loud, my friends, you are fresh out of luck there, too. Now, I hope and expect this to be the only time that I will speak to you in this manner. There has been discussion about an appearance before Congress. Any testimony from this office would not go beyond our report. So beyond what I've said here today and what is contained in our written work, I do not believe it is appropriate for me to speak further about the investigation or to comment on the actions of the Justice Department or Congress. Mm. I don't have anything more to say, and I'm leaving. <laughs> See, that there, my friends, is the conviction of a man who has booked a non-refundable vacation. <laughs> and he's not gonna let Congress screw it up. <laughs> and look, even though Mueller dropped a major hint, many people weren't satisfied with how little he said today. But I'll be honest, I don't think anyone's gonna shake this guy, and I know this, because I sent our correspondents to the press conference to try and find out more. On these few remarks, it is important that the office's written work speak for itself. Muller, ain't nobody about to read that long-ass report. <laughs> Just tell us, is Trump guilty or not? We are not commenting on the guilt or the innocence of any specific defendant. The hell you ain't. Every defendant is presumed innocent. Get all that. It's gotta be something on Trump in that folder. Killing. I wanna see... The indictments allege, okay. and the other activities in our report describe... I'll catch you later on. ...efforts to interfere in our political system. Just give systems. me the folder! Just they needed to be run investigated... It. Get it from the other side, run it! I got you, man. ...among the reasons why the Department of Justice established our office. That guy doesn't mess around.